My grandma's health has always been unstable. One year it was kidney failure, another time it was a hip replacement. She's even had skin cancer. She always powers through, however. She always has the same upbeat smile on her face. Nobody in the family seems to understand how she does it. No matter what ails her, she's able to greet us with the same vigor as the previous visits. She's even going to pass a hundred years old in January. She's the only person in the family whose patience you should never test. She has no qualms with discipline. I've always spent time with her, talking about what she's lived through or where she's been or what she thinks she still has time left for. Her wit is as sharp as ever, she solves the crosswords every day, and if anyone tries to act sarcastic around her, she'll trip them up like no old lady ever could. I once asked her what her secret was, jokingly, and she chuckled back that it was, all in eating well, dearie, it's all in the blood. Honestly, I believed her, since she's the best cook in the family, she has cookbooks on every shelf. Every year at Christmas, the entire family visits. My family, along with all our aunts and uncles and cousins. Grandma's had so many children that her house fills like a zoo. Every year, no exceptions. There's always a slightly somber feel among the adults, including me this year, ever since my favorite uncle disappeared. Our family has a terrible track record when it comes to disappearances. Our grandfather, uncle, and two of my aunts Grandma, on the other hand, has an unflinching demeanor when it comes to death. According to her, she's accepted that she will die just like the rest of us, and she'll keep her own sadness inside to shower the rest of us in her happiness. If she joked that she had made a deal with death, I'd just laugh like everyone else. But I've noticed the pattern. It may just be insane, but... Our Aunt Cindy disappeared not long after Grandma had a kidney failure. Similarly with Grandma's hip replacement. I wouldn't have made the connections, but it was when my uncle disappeared that I saw it. Grandma's skin cancer seemed to have been a misdiagnosis to the doctors, but I saw it. I knew the same mole on my uncle's arm, and I knew it just as well when I saw it on Grandma's arm. Since then, I've been especially kind to Grandma. Grandma went to the doctors today. I just hope that I'm not the next one on her list. <laughs>